Hello friends, this is Carrie and welcome back to I Like Reddit channel. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Today we have three stories out of the Entitled Parent subreddit. Let's begin. Our first story is by La 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 I'm Not Listening. Entitled Mom thinks we're going to make a special accommodation for her and her kids in a neurotrauma slash burn ICU during COVID. Ends up with CPS called on her. I am a ICU registered nurse. A few nights ago, I was working our burn ward where this happened. Typically pre-COVID, we allowed three visitors per patient between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. During the worst of COVID, all visitors were restricted, all units, no exceptions. Now that things are lightening up, we're starting to allow visitors again under certain conditions. One visitor per patient at a time, over 18 only, all will be screened and made to wear an N95 mask and two hour visiting max. Pretty reasonable. Enter EM. I'm taking care of her husband who was grilling when the propane tank exploded. He's pretty burned up, but nowhere near life threatening. He's awake, alert, talking, eating, etc. Not on death's door by any means. I get a call from this lady positively screeching that she is downstairs and some B, the guest secretary, won't let her come and visit her dying husband and I had better tell her that it's okay. After getting a few words in, I come and find out that it's because she has children with her. I explain our policy and she loses it. Incoherent words and screaming at me. I hung up, giggle to myself that I'm glad that she's downstairs and this is a locked unit and it sucks to be the secretary right now. Well, in walks a super pissed off woman escorted by security alone raging about how we need to let her kids up to see their dad because they haven't seen him in three days. She asks for the charge nurse after I tell her policy is policy. So she's yelling at my charge nurse for a solid 10 minutes. When I go into the guy's room, he's so embarrassed. He can hear her yelling from his room. He apologizes for her. We chat for a bit and I ask about his kids and how old they are, etc. He tells me they're boys, three and six years old. The lady is still yelling at my charge nurse. It's been about 15 to 20 minutes and she's been on the unit now. Hasn't come to see her dying husband yet. My patient then said, wait, the kids aren't alone in the waiting room, are they? Uh oh, I hope they haven't wrecked it. So I run and check, nope no kids to be found. Because of missing children, I consulted the house supervisor and we call a code pink, possibly abducted or lost child. In the event of a code pink, no one goes in or out of the hospital and all entrances and exits are monitored. I go and tell my charge what is going on right in front of the entitled mother, me. The children she brought can't be located in the waiting room, so I called a code pink, me to entitled mother. Well, we need a description of your kids and what they were wearing. EM. Well, of course they're not in the waiting room. The stupid secretary wouldn't let them up. So they're in the car. There's a pause. Charge nurse. Oh, are they with family out there? EM. Silence. Charge. Ma'am, is there somebody in the car with your children? EM. I need to go. Move. Let me out. She's trying to push around me to get to the staircase. Me. No. No one can leave during a code pink. You can't go anywhere. To make a long story short, the police were called and a report was filed. She wasn't arrested since the only other person to take the kids was in the hospital. We are mandated reporters and had to report this to CPS. I feel so bad for that husband and those kids. Me too. If you've been watching until here and are enjoying my content, please put some heart emojis in the comment section down below. Our next story is by C Fox RCT. Entitled Grandma threatens to bomb a charity because I got the last free mask. Well, this is crazy. I never imagined I'd be making a post on here. Cast, EG, Entitled Grandma, NG, Nice Grandson, Fender, the really kind person who was handing out the masks. Before I start, the queue was pretty big. 70 to 80 people were queued up to get masks and I got there pretty late. Behind me was Entitled Grandma and Nice Grandson. Entitled Grandma was yapping and moaning on about the queue. The free mask vendor was a small charity and since our area is pretty poor and full of elderly people, you can find the charity here. Here's the URL. EG. Excuse me. She taps me on the shoulder and literally breaks social distancing rules, irritating the heck out of me. Me. Yeah. Also, can you not touch me? Entitled Grandma snickered and replied, Could we go in front of Nice Grandson? No, Grandma, we could wait. Entitled Grandma slapped, yes, slapped Nice Grandson in the head and shouted, Shut up, you naive little crap. 
She got a few looks and points from people. I replied instantaneously, no, wait in line like everybody else. Entitled Grandma huffed, fine. She kept huffing for the next five minutes, just like a teenager. Honestly, I think she was doing three to four huffs each minute. The huffing continued and I was at the front of the queue. EG realized there was only two masks left. As the vendor gave me the last two masks, which were for me and my mother, EG screamed, you piece of crap, you only need one. The vendor signaled me to move out of the way. EG sighed, well, stop standing there and give me six. Three for me and three for nice grandson. I only need one grandson. Grandma, they're reusable. E.G. slapped Nice Grandson again. Nice Grandson, or E.G. was about to say something to Nice Grandson, waiting for the crap to go down. Vendor, sorry ma'am, we have no more masks left. Vendor, sorry everyone, we ran out of masks. Please come back later and we will probably have some more. Entitled Grandma started to charge at me, pushed me over, and screamed at me like a three-year-old. You piece of crap, give me those masks. Someone, I don't know who, clearly had called the police. As the entitled grandma tried to wrestle the masks out of my hand, the vendor pushed her away. Whilst the vendor was arguing with the entitled grandma, the police were on their way. As soon as the police arrived, entitled grandma's face dropped. I should have recorded it and popped it on r slash watch people die inside because holy crap, it was the best reaction I'd ever seen. Nice grandson stayed with the vendor and called his parents. I gave a small statement to the police while, while trying to block the entitled grandma's I'm gonna bomb your charity bench, you effing woman of the night, along the lines of that. About half an hour later, the entitled grandma was let go. First thing she said to the vendor, I'm gonna bomb your effing charity and call the effing Spanish mafia on you. Lady, you're in England, not Spain, idiot. Nice grandson's parents came. Entitled grandma forgot all about nice grandson and left without him. Pretty crappy grandparent, am I right? Anyways, I checked if the vendor and nice grandson were okay, then left to go back home. I told my mother and she laughed her butt off. My brother told me to post this here, since we usually read stories off of here. Our final story is posted by C Guarantee 3. Entitled mom tries to get me fired from a place I don't work. This is kind of an old story, but I think about it from time to time. I'd like to apologize for the leaf blower in the background. My neighbor is doing his yard work and this is the only place in the house where I can record. So again, I apologize. Back to the story. I was about 17 at the time and a friend of mine, Mark, was helping to cater some renewal of vows thing. For whatever reason, the catering service just could not find people to work this. Mark was worried that he was going to have to do it all on his own. He was only 16 at the time and had just started working this really stressful job. Well, Mark and my sister, Janice, were best friends. So Mark hit her up and asked if we would be willing to help him out. Neither of us had any idea of what we were doing, but he seemed stressed, so we agreed. We showed up wearing nice enough clothing and got a fast rundown of how this was going to work. It seemed simple enough, but we realized pretty quickly that there was more tension in the air. The little hour long gig that they had been hired for was not little at all. There was way more people than the caterers had been notified of and there was not enough food. Not only that, but the caterers had only been hired to prepare the food and switch it out whenever the buffet dishes were getting empty. That they would be responsible for collecting and cleaning the dishes when they were done. Part of the reason that Mark had asked my sister and I to help was because he wanted to make the night easy. Now, we were barely able to keep up. Janice was giving out wine, Mark was switching out food trays, and I got the unfortunate job of collecting all the dishes. Because Mark and Janice were pretty busy with guests, I wound up dealing with the angry guests. One of those was Entitled Mom that made it her mission to ruin my night. My memory was pretty fuzzy here, but it went a little something like this. EM, excuse me, there's no more mac and cheese left for my boys. Me, they might have run out. EM, what? How could that be? Who the heck takes all the mac and cheese before the kids can get any? Don't you have any more? Me, no, I'm afraid not. EM, then make more. Now, I didn't technically work for the catering company, but I did know that they made most everything from scratch. And the mac and cheese wasn't just a few boxes of craft tossed into a pot. I didn't want to make the bride and groom look bad by saying that they didn't order enough food. So I just shrugged and said, me, it's not that simple, sorry. I started walking away with my big cart of dirty dishes. I was trying to clear off all of the dinner plates before dessert was served. But the EM grabbed the front of the cart and stopped me. EM, where's your boss? I've had enough of your unprofessional behavior. Most people who know me know that I have a very short fuse. I normally try and stay out of conflicts because of it. Me, ma'am, I'm volunteering my time to help, with, to help the catering company with the gig. You can try to get me in trouble or whatever, but it doesn't 
doesn't really matter to me. She did one of those pearl clutching offended style gasps and I again tried to move my cart past her. Well, since she couldn't stop me, she decided to try and push my cart over. You know, the one filled with several porcelain and glass dishes. I don't know how, but by the grace of God, I managed to jump around the cart and grab the falling side. A few dishes slipped past and broke on the ground, but ultimately I saved the majority. My heart was pounding in my ears, but the entitled mom just kept yelling about how her sweet sons are going to starve because we didn't have enough effing mac and cheese. I was mortified when I looked around and saw how much attention we had drawn. Eventually, the bride made her way over and instead of listening to what I had to say, she berated me further. Apparently, the entitled mom was her sister. Huh, the entitlement must rung strong in this family. Mark and Janice weren't having much luck keeping the peace either. After the bride was finished yelling, Mark pulled me aside and informed me that we had been catering the event for three hours, which was way longer than we had been hired for. He decided to call the boss, who was irritated, and told us to get the heck out of there. We dropped everything and decided to leave at this point. The bride chased us down and threatened to withhold payment, but Mark pretty much told her to pound sand. In the end, the catering company got their money from the mortified groom and my sister and I were both given 20 bucks for our patience. Last I heard, the bride and groom have already gotten divorced. Good for him. That's all the stories I have for today. Links to the original Reddit posts will be in the description box below. Please stop on by Reddit to show the OP some love and an upvote. If you enjoy my content, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to let you know when I've uploaded new videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.